Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 20th to August 26th 2018 <clears throat> So let's go first to the Tarot reading and we have a four position spread Now the first position is going to represent <clears throat> a Cancer's topic for the week Now the second position will show the core of the situation here the third position represents uh, the uh, obstacles the Cancer has to deal with for the duration of the week and the last card represents the guidance that Cancer should adopt in order to tackle with the week more, uh, more productively. So, <clears throat> let's see what the first card has to show for you Cancers. Now we do have the Three of Swords. <clears throat> now when we talk about Three of Swords regarding a topic, this um, most likely refer to a, a certain revelations that you counselors are going to have regarding the accuracy of the situation. So when the Tree of Swords comes as a topic, it is most likely it's an illusion, uh, it's an illusion breaking point um, <clears throat> that you are going to have, uh, figuring out that, for example, a certain activity, even though um, you thought that it, it, it's going to be a quite successful and quite lucrative or quite happy turns out not to be what it seems to be so it's kind of like um, a week where you're going to <clears throat> realize the 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 cold truth should I say it that way either for your relationship and either for your career. This card also uh, signifies um, a mental cruelty. This is when you are, for example, insulted or uh, when you have been delivered that cold truth in a very cold, uh, with a very cold means. And um, <clears throat> this particular, uh, this this particular event could create within you a an, an emotions of uh, being down, being um, <clears throat> being very low in spirit, etc., etc. Now the Tree of Swords very important here to be said. When we do have a Tree of Swords here, is uh, as a is that one needs to kind of accept the uh, the true nature of the situation as soon as possible. You know, so one can really start tackling with it because uh, the Tree of Swords, how painful the Tree of Swords is going to be, it depends how resilient we are to um, to accept and swallow the real truth for what is going on around us. So when it comes to that card, for example, into one relationship, you may realize that your partner has been cheating on you or that your partner isn't... Um, <clears throat> isn't counting on you as much as you would like to or this card could represent for example for your career that you have hoped to get a promotion and suddenly turns out that you are not going to be the one taking the promotion you know I mean this card points that now the things the cold truth is going to be delivered or what the, the what the reality is is going to be delivered in a cold way um, <clears throat> for your behalf but also the tree of swords resembles uh, as I said a very um, cutting thumb from the people around you uh, with a reason so these people can corner you and not allowing you to proceed further with something. Now the core of the situation here that we do have for you Cancers, this is going to be uh, the Judgment card. So the Judgment card it is um, <clears throat> Excuse me, there is something for with my voice here. It's it's not itself lately. So uh, the judgment card it is about finding the uh, the right path for us. So most likely here the tree of swords is going to manifest as a um, people are trying to stop us. All right, uh, and they will try to stop us by presenting us the situation in the worst possible, um, in the worst possible case, in the worst possible scenario, which is kind of true. All right, but because we do have the judgment here, this doesn't mean that we have to kind of drop of our undertaking. We have to drop of our enterprises. Now, the judgment card in this particular reading asks us to be focused more about more to the grand scheme of things rather than to the minor details here, which as which are displayed with the tree of swords. So. <clears throat> 
If we go with the example that you may find out that your partner has been, che has been cheating on you, you know, you need to accept that as a uh, call of the universe, that you are not meant to be with this person or that this person doesn't deserve you. Therefore, you got to move on to the next one because the next one is around you here with the judgment card. Same goes for your career. You know, if you realize that this um, promotion, this uh, place that you hope for, you know, is not meant for you, but for someone else, then obviously you have to start searching for a different job here, you know, as soon as you uh, <clears throat> accept that this is the reality, then you will be no longer um, petrified and you will be able to move along, you know, with your life with the correct means necessary in order to get what you think you deserve. And in that particular case, you will start searching for a, a different job. It is just as soon as you realize the truth, you know, and you accept it, then you are going to see what your further steps should be in order for you to grow either relationship-wise or career-wise. And then we do have the difficulties that you need to overcome here that will be the sun card and the sun card in that particular case <clears throat> resembles the good means with the people around you so these people which are cornering you here with the tree of swords uh, with the very reason you know to uh, deprave you from moving forward even if you try to find a, a common song with them even if you try to find a common ground with them that will be a rather proof uh, uh, will prove itself uh, futile here with the sun card showing that these people just doesn't want to listen they don't want you as a friend guys they they just don't they just want you out of there for what it seems here with these cards but what they don't realize here is by you being out of there you're going to find yourself a, a much better place to be, a, a place where you belong. So uh, with the sun card here into the uh, negative position, it is unlikely that this week it will be rather joyful for your behalf because you have to... Um, <clears throat> You know, you, you have to deal with such kind of a, a very negative people in your life, uh, either your co-workers, you know, bosses, supervisors, etc, etc. And it is very important when it comes to uh, the sun card into a negative position not to try to force your kindness into those people. So if your kindness doesn't do its thing with, uh, with them, then obviously they don't deserve it. So you have to redirect it into someone else, you know, into different society of people. So your kindness kindness can be um, <clears throat> appreciated, all right? Because uh, there are those kind of people who are always kind and uh, they are always used for something from from the others and they kind of like uh, trying to figure out why this is happening and why they don't receive kindness in, uh, in return for their kindness because this is the real world and you gotta face the real world here. You are way too kind then you get used um, in a certain uh, undertakings and you take the fall basically that's that so you have to find the correct the correct spot the correct niche for uh, for your kindness and for your joyful uh, joyful heart, joyful soul here. And the best possible way to do so here, we do have the Empress card. <clears throat> and that card in, in your particular case here entirely speaks for your personal comfort and for your personal nurturing. Now you must, you must uh, kind of like approach that situation over here that we talked about very maturely, you know, instead of crying like a child, you need to show your uh, self-respect and your sovereignty that you will not allow people to take advantage of you, you will not allow people to uh, take advantage of your kindness, and if they don't appreciate your kindness, then you are going to find someone else to do so. It's all about placing yourself into only comfortable environment around a faithful companions around faithful friends you know a true real friends and if, of course if your relationship doesn't suit you and you're feeling despondent in it then uh, you can feel free you know to just give yourself some break like going somewhere without your partner etc etc it all comes to that guys to kind of like detach yourself from the midst of activity here so you can figure out what you need to do next 
and your decision needs to be exerted with a, a big portion of maturity when it comes to that and when we talk about maturity we're not talking about emotionally taking decision the maturity is about um, <clears throat> approaching the situation logically and that is what is going to pay off in your um, in your situation here as the tree of sword it is also a, about the logical approach toward the situation so for you cancers emotions for the duration of this week are something that is not going to serve you any kind of a favor just on the contrary they are going to make you feel despondent so uh, try to be more logical orientated try to be with more cunning mind here all right so you can penetrate through the situation and really um, see what is real and what it isn't <clears throat> so let's see what the Lenormand card has to say for you now the first card that we do have that is going to be um, the house followed by the cross and then afterwards we do have the coffin so uh, I do believe that these mental attacks here with these Lenormand cards are going to come from your very close people like uh, family members, you know, like a very close um, friends. <clears throat> this is coming from the uh, from the house card. The house rep stands for your home, stands for your estate in general, the estate into your career, the estate into your um social circle as well so this is the very um <clears throat> the the closest people that you are attached to and from there as we do have the cross the cross stands for suffering and for uh, despondency as well so out of your very closest circle you are going to experience um suffering and despondency which is going to cause here an ending i a completion probably an ending of a friendship, it could be an ending of a relationship or it could be a, an ending of a certain project or career, uh, career path as well but also the coffin it's about rebirth alright so a, a new perspective for you emerges very very soon afterwards so that being said cancers this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now see you next time Bye.